And, uh, of course, all of it available in the Truman catalog, and operators are standing by. Christoph, let me ask you, why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello. The Hague. All right, we've lost that call. Let's go to Hollywood, California. You're on True Talk. Hi, Christoph. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice, don't we? How could we forget? Uh, let's go to another call. What do we no, have? No, 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 it's, fi it, it's fine, Mike. I, I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, as you announced so melodramatically to the world, do you think because you batted your eyes at Truman once, flirted with him, stole a few minutes of air time with him to thrust yourself and your politics into the limelight, that you know him? that you know what's right for him. Oh. You really think you're in a position to judge him? What right do you have to take a baby and, and, and turn his life into some kind of mockery? Don't you ever feel guilty? I have given Truman the chance to lead a normal life. The world, the place you live in, is the sick place. Sea Haven is the way the world should be. He's not a performer. He's a prisoner. Look at him. Look at what you've done to him. He could leave at any time. If his was more than just a vague ambition, if he was absolutely determined to discover the truth, there's no way we could prevent him. I think what distresses you, really, caller, is that ultimately, Truman prefers his cell, as you call it. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong. You're so wrong, and he'll prove you wrong. Well, aside from the uh, heated comments of a very vocal minority, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. Yes, for Truman and for the viewing public. Well, Christoph, I can't thank you enough for giving so generously of your time tonight. I think it's safe to say that now that this crisis is behind us and that Truman is back to his old self, we can look forward to some exciting new developments. Well... Mike, the big news is that Merrill will be leaving Truman in an upcoming episode. And a new romantic interest will be introduced. Uh-huh. I'm determined that television's first on-air conception will still take place. Well, another television milestone straight ahead. You heard it here first. It has been a singular honor and a pleasure, sir. Christoph, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Now let's get you back to the movie on TBS. Hello? Come in, Major Burbank.
That's an unusual cat, my man. <laughs> Hereby proclaim this planet Trumania of the Burbank Galaxy. Hmm. Okay. Gonna go? Hallway camera right. ready. That one's for free. Keep up with them because you're gonna move fast. Okay, stand by all house cameras. Morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Oh, in case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> oh. Good afternoon, good, uh, good, good morning. evening, and good, good night. Morning, Truman. Morning, Spencer. How's it going? Hmm, let me check. Vital signs are good. <laughs> oh, hey, Pluto. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this isn't about insurance. This is about the great variable. When will death occur? It could be a week, month, a year. Be today. Sunbather, minding his own business, stabbed in the hurt by the tip of a runaway beach umbrella. No way to guard against that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, Truman, this is Vivian. Vivian, this is Truman. The two of you are going to be neighbors. Oh. Guess what I'm, what I'm saying is that uh, life is fragile. Vivian, in your office. Sorry. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you do. Oh, great. Um, let me uh, let me take your information. <laughs> Ready to go to two. And back to medium. And wide. Psst. I was just trying to train the kid to... Never mind. What's he doing in the basement? He moved down there after Meryl packed up and left. Why wasn't I told? Any unpredictable behavior has to be reported. Just sleeping, I thought. This is the best shot we've got? What's to see? What's on the clock, Ham? Uh, it's an obstruction. Obstruction. What happened down there? He was just tidying up his garbage. I was going to call you, but halfway through, he gave up and he fell asleep. I want to check on the setups for the insurance. Insurance convention tomorrow. Yes. go. Isolate the audio. Give me a close-up on his torso. He's still breathing. Where's Chloe? Yes, Call him. What do you Tell mean? him it's the wrong number. What took you so long? Just had to wait for it. They were busy. Here. What's going on? I don't know. They... He came down into the room. He did nothing but stand around for a while. Shut up and watch. Tell me what's in night vision. He's asleep. <laughs> there. Stop the line. Zoom in. On which? Under, Under the... the chair there. Uh-huh. Enhance it. Is it? Oh, my God. I... If... He couldn't have gone up the stairs. I definitely... He, he must still be... Get Marlon over there. Right away. 